Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving straight into how to move conversations to different channels in Slack, a nifty feature that helps keep your workspace organized and your team focused. To start, let's open the Slack app. You'll see a list of channels on the left. Find the channel containing the conversation you want to move. This is essential because you need to identify the specific conversation thread that is more relevant to another channel. Once you've found the conversation, hover over the message until you see three dots appear on the right. Click on these dots. This opens up a menu with various options. We do this because we want to select the Move Conversation feature, which is what allows us to transfer the thread to a different channel. Now that we've done that, click on Move Conversation. A new window will pop up, asking you to select the destination channel. This is where you decide where the conversation would be more relevant or beneficial. Remember, the aim is to enhance clarity and efficiency in your team's communication. After you've selected the new channel, click on Move. Slack will then move the entire conversation, along with its context and history, to the chosen channel. This helps us because it maintains the continuity and context of the discussion, even as it moves to a new location. Let me explain why this matters. By moving conversations to more relevant channels, you ensure that the right people see and engage with the right information. It's a great way to streamline your team's communication and keep your Slack workspace tidy and efficient. Finally, always remember to inform your teammates about the move. A simple note in the original channel indicating that the conversation has been moved can prevent confusion and ensure everyone is on the same page. And that's it. You've successfully moved a conversation to a different channel in Slack. It's a straightforward process, but mastering it can make a significant difference in managing your team's discussions and productivity. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.